That's been taken care of. All my animals have uh, water now. I'm gonna I'm gonna be working on my rabbits today. Uh, I feel like I'm neglecting them. Uh, these rabbits are fine in this cold weather, but if it gets any colder, then yeah, they're not gonna do so well. So. I'm done with uh, school and lunch and everything, so I want to direct my attention to getting the rabbits a little more comfortable for the winter. Got, I can only find two of my nest boxes, so I, I think I gotta make two nest boxes and then I'll start putting straw into uh, nest boxes so they're a little bit warmer at night since we're getting these cold temperatures. Um, as I kind of put lazily put this blanket up. It was to block the wind the other day and it's kind of sloppy so I'm going to redo that. I have another blanket over there I'm going to drape across here in the front. What I'm going to do is just going to redo that, hang up, make it look a little bit more presentable. And then I'm going to make two nest boxes for the white, white rabbit and the brown rabbit. So they have something to crawl into and then I'm going to stuff the other nest boxes with straw so So I need to, uh, to start this build I need to just build uh, measure out what size boxes I, I need uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I can just measure out the other box and uh, kind of build the same kind of box but... All right. So these nest boxes are Ten and a half wide, eighteen inches long. Eighteen long. Up. Four inches long. Five inches up. That's my outline right there. And I just gotta cut it out and, and then I'm gonna use that as a template and make uh, as many as I can on this little piece of board.
can get two boxes out of that if I can get Try not to overcomplicate things when I build things. Keep it simple, keep it functional. That's kind of my model. And uh, yes, building things to, you know, to make it aesthetically pleasing is nice. But I'm um, pretty sure like in a month or two, these things are gonna be gnawed down by the rabbits because rabbits tend to chew on things con constantly, so. I really don't want to invest in something where the animals themselves are going to probably destroy so until I have get some more uh, metal uh, nesting boxes I'm just going to make it you know keep keep uh, do this like I said the rabbits are probably end up destroying this in a couple months I'm using my Hitachi pin nailer today that's what it is. Uh, cost me a hundred bucks at Home Depot. Comes in real handy. It's for trim work and stuff like that, but for work like this, is this is perfect. There you go, nest box. That ain't the prettiest thing. It's not that pretty, but uh, the whole point is, you know, give giving the rabbits a little shelter to get out of the super cold. So when I fill this with straw inside the nest box, and I'm inside the cage, they can, you know, crawl in there at night and stay warm. So that's, like I said, it's really just functional because like I said, rabbits tend to gnaw on everything that's wood. So this probably won't last till until spring and they'll probably eat, you know, chew it up. So yeah, uh, let me uh, build the next one and uh, I'll put them in the boxes, in, in the cages. Another one. All right, now I'm gonna go get some straw and uh, stuff, stuff to all the boxes, nest boxes, so they could uh, stay warm tonight. And that should be fun. That one's really enjoying it. This one's eating it. That one's also eating it. But no, they'll make beds out of it. Uh, maybe you need some more, huh? Hey, you can only dig so far, little bunny. <laughs> this one doesn't know what to do. It just helps out a little bit. All right, I got you. All right, well, just came back from changing my batteries and they're all just have crawled in it and I think they're gonna enjoy this. I don't know if they're eating or just 
what are they doing? I'm not really too uh, up to date with rabbits. Uh, I've had them before and this is what I've done and I've stayed alive. So if anyone's got suggestions for me about my rabbits, uh, yeah, always welcome to helpful hints. All right, now I'm gonna hang up the blanket a little better. Gotta get my hammer. Light blue, dark blue. I'm thinking dark blue. Okay, that's it. That will pretty much get, keep the rabbits out of the wind. Uh, it's pretty, still pretty exposed. And if I had more blankets, I probably would cover the whole front, but I don't think my wife would like that. Uh, I'm just doing this so they get out of the wind. Uh, Maybe further on down the line, I'll make something more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, maybe find like some kind of like plastic, like thick plastic uh, covers. Uh, like it's just Drake, so you can still kind of see everything. But until then, I'm just just, just giving you know giving them more a little more protection from the environment. Uh, Maybe it might create just a little more heat in there for them. I doubt it because it's still pretty pretty exposed. So yeah, um, that's kind of what my plan was today was trying to give them a little more shelter. We got some winds, I mean, uh, rain coming up and a bunch of rain. So yeah, uh, so that's good. And only reason I did that side because most of our wind comes from the west and it you know blows towards us this way so that's why I covered up that side and uh, yeah well that's uh, that's pretty much all I was gonna have had my plans on today was to put that up for my rabbits uh, so uh, this is growing our country homestead thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow Okay, he's not going to say anything. All right, all right. Bye. So you got to say bye. Hi. No, bye. bye. <laughs> okay, bye. It's like saying aloha. Bye.